Hello everyone. In this video we will learn about how we can implement Appian RPA. Imagine you have to copy the data from one spreadsheet to another every day. Instead of doing that it manually, an Appian RPA can create a robot that can do this task automatically. It's like having your little digital assistant that can perform repetitive tasks for you. So without further ado, we will learn how we can implement Appian RPA. So there are few basic things which we need to know before implementing it. First, we need to create a robot pool. And for that, we need to have our robot ready. So you can go on to this navigation menu over here and hover over to operation console. Once you are in the operation console, you can create one Appian robot over here. But there is one limitation with community addition that we can only create one single robot for Appian RPA. So first we will type our name of the bot basically. Right, and then we can select our operating system. If we are installing our robot on Windows, then we need to select Windows, otherwise on Linux or Mac. Right now I am doing it on Windows, so I'll select Windows. And you can either use enable automatically sign in if you have the domain ready with your system and your credentials. But if you don't have that re ready with you right now, then you can skip this part. So right now I'll click on continue. Then you need to set the security for this one. I'll select the groups over here, right? For providing administrator and viewer level permissions. AS administrator one as administrator. And then I'll select AS again to provide the viewer level security. Like we have AF, AS user one. So once I have provided the security, I can click on create over here and then I can download the installer before doing that make sure you review the prerequisite for installing the Appian RPA robot so you need to go on to this uh, documentation and make sure you follow everything like Java is properly installed and the correct version is installed so I have that installation ready so I'll directly click on download installer so once my download is completed like over here I'll extract the file and then probably will install the robot and uh, I can click on done basically and you will see that uh, my Appian Seco bot is ready and it's online right so after, once your robot is ready you need to create a robotic robot pool basically and you need to pull the robot over here robot right as robot pool over here right and i have set the default security over here again and i can click on save so once my robot pool is created i need to pull that robot uh, which i have just now created this one fnc co bot into this robot pool i need to click on add member over here directly and i can Select the robot to be added. Right, it can automatically pop up. Once it is done, you can click on add over here. So once you have configured the robot pool, now you need to create a robotic process task. So over here, click on new and click on robotic task over here and configure the security as well. Or I'll rename the task as fetch value fetch player details right and uh, once I, I have provided the name I need to provide the name of the robot pool as well AS robot pool so once I have done that I can click on create and I'll set the securities for this one AS user as viewer level permission, AS administrator as administrative level permission and click on save. 
once it, I have done this changes I can I'll be redirected to the robotic task basically there are two ways to do that either I can pick any action from the palette let's say I am having open browser or something like that so I'll go on to search and type open browser I can choose this action right once it is done I can go to navigate and search this one like another action navigate to URL right simply drag and drop will help me to you know set the robotic process and on the right hand side basically I can configure the actions for that pal palette basically right either I can drag any action from the palette which I have done just now or I can start recording my actions directly and use those actions to perform the task automatically so I'll start recording my actions by clicking on this icon over here it will automatically select the Appian robot basically which is currently available and online you can check the same in the operation console as well that this robot is online right so I'll click on OK and you can see that uh, my task Appian task recorder is currently working it is available over here Appian task recorder so first I need to select the application where uh, I can record my action so let's say I select Chrome over here so it will open my Chrome application right and then the next thing is I need to provide the URL basically so that I can redirect navigate myself to that particular URL so once I have redirected myself to a particular URL I'll let's say search for a player name any football player name let's say Ronaldo I got the name in the pop-up list so I can click on that particular name basically and uh, as you can see whenever we are updating any value or whenever we are clicking any value it is automatically you know capturing every single step right so the next thing would be I can choose to fetch this value and store it in my process variable right so for that I'll wait uh, until the site is loading right once it is done I can fetch and the name and the date of birth of this player basically into my process variable and store it over there let's say uh, while selecting on the name of the player basically I can get this action icon over here action tab if I click on this I can either do any of the three conditions I can check whether this element is present in my web page or not the next thing which I can check is I can get the attribute attribute is nothing but a value of that particular element or the last thing is I can wait for the attribute to appear in this element so let's say the I need to fetch this value so I'll click on get attribute over here as you can see uh, we are having we are getting this value Ronaldo over here right so I'll rename it as fetch player name right similarly I, I can click on this plus icon to store the value into my process variable and I'll select the data type as text over here right once it is done I can select and fetch the name or fetch the date of birth of this player I can again go to this action and click on get attribute I'll select uh, the value over here date of birth since it is containing multiple entries right like uh, text and alphanumeric values as well so I'll select this um, select this variable as text type 
once it is done i can click on done basically and i'll name the group basically group of actions basically uh, fetch player details right once i have recorded all my action i can click on close recorder basically and i'll be i'll be redirecting onto myself onto this this robotic task i can see all the recorded action has been there whatever we have uh, whatever the actions which we have performed right open browser update value click on that particular name and then fetch the player name and fetch that the date of birth basically so once i have made uh, completed all my action i can set up this cleanup process uh, cleanup uh, actions as well and i can click on close browser so once i'll do the drag and drop from here and uh, i need to close the specific browser whatever the robot has open let's say I, the robot has open the chrome one so i'll open close the chrome browser so before fetching the value i can set few basic things from the action configuration over here like the completion time right i can wait how many seconds i can, let's say for an ideal scenario i'll wait 3 to 5 seconds so i'll put 5 seconds over here right similarly or uh, like after the click basically i can let's say i'll wait 10 seconds and after fetching the value let's say after completion i can wait up to 5 seconds to store the value after the completion of this fetching the date of birth i can wait up to 3 seconds so that's totally depend up to us that whatever how many seconds do we want to wait wait so when a, once your robotic process is completed right robotic task is completed you can click on save changes basically once you have saved all the changes now it's time to test this robot so i'll click on test robot and uh, over here i need to select the robot whatever is available and i can click on for i there are five options basically either i can debug the process along while testing it or only the execution will be marked as testing along with it i can capture the screenshot or i can record the video as well in mp4 format or i can defer the execution basically like uh, execute from this date and time i can basically schedule it so for now i'll click on testing and uh, will test this process one it will redirect me to a execution details page basically where all the robotic process are executed so once it is there once we are there you can see that uh, now currently it is opening the browser so this browser has been open and it will redirect me to our fbref.com page where we can fetch the values from the football players right and now it will enter the name of the player and uh, click on it once it has got the player details it will fetch all the values uh, like uh, name and the date of birth what we as asked him to do so this is one example of how we can perform the repetitive task in a simple manner so once uh, it the process is done it will automatically close the browser over here and uh, after closing the browser you can also check it can you will see the values of those variables over here like uh, the name and the date of birth as well in those process variable what we have created right so i'll redirect myself onto that part and check on what step it is currently on so it has currently fetched the name of the player and the date of birth of that player basically and it has also now it is performing the close browser task action basically so it has as you can see it has closed the browser what we have once it is done i'll see that in the execution log over here and the close browser action is also completed now we can go on to the result section that 
whatever the task which we have done it it is completed or not in the execution check section we can basically see the logs over at what step at what time it was taken and how much time it took to perform that particular action basically it and um, for clicking that uh, click action has taken one minute three seconds and another uh, browser action like fetch player name has taken one minute 16 seconds right so that sort of log also you can check with this robotic task page so this is all about appian rpa hope to see you soon in the next video bye bye